Hey, what's up guys? Bo with Zizzo Bikes in Union City, California. And in this video, we are gonna see what happens when we take a Zizzo Forte, our heavy duty model, load it down with bike packing bags, and go camping up into the mountains for a little bike packing adventure. And we're taking the Forte out bike camping. Added about 35 to 40 pounds worth of food, tents, clothing, accessories. This bag here has the pad for sleeping and also the tent. This is a cool bag. I am putting a power bank in there. Camera, this is my personal saddle. Sleeping bag, a little bit bigger to accommodate the steep hills. This bag has clothes in it. And we got a Zizzo bag over here with random food and accessories in it. Some uh, sunscreen, toothbrush, Advil, got a little patch kit, plus some random tools, extra tube. What do we bring in to eat? Teriyaki, tender bites, some tortillas. We're gonna make um, kind of a burrito that doesn't require any cooking. Chips, cranberry trail mix. Gotta have some gummy bears. Keeping it simple, keeping it easy. We got USB vlogging lights that are just going to work as lights that will plug into a power bank that's solar powered right there. And the headlight lamps, extra battery for the GoPro, GoPro 360 camera. All right, so we're going up Highway 9 for a little bit. It's about 6 to 7% grade. When I'm on a 4 or 5% grade, it's no big deal. Uh, I feel like I'm spinning too much. But when I get up to seven, eight, nine percent loaded down, it's nice to be able to have that uh, option to have an easier gear. So four to six percent, I might be spinning more than I want, but the drop down of the next gear is a grinder. Whew, carrying an extra 70 pounds of gear up this climb on a warm day. It's a good thing I have the gearing that I do, but it is slow moving. Going up this five, six percent grade, normally I'd probably do about eight to 10 miles an hour. I'm slogging at like four to five if that. But luckily I'm in the shade. Beautiful scenery here in the Santa Cruz Mountains. And I'd say the Forte is doing a good job. It's holding its own. It's the rider that's uh, struggling. And so, uh, yeah, about another mile, maybe three quarters of a mile to the top. Oh, the top, finally. That was a good climb, especially with all this weight. Forte did fine. No skipping gears, no uh, problems at all, no weird noises. Putting it under a pretty heavy load and hard climb at times at 9% grade. Living up to its heavy duty status of handling 300 pounds.
Bike's holding up good on this trail. No slip ups on the gearing and uh, keep on heading up the trail. I hear some guns and I think there's a, there's a gun uh, club up where we're gonna camp. We're doing a trail to stay off the main highway as much as possible. So, um, so far so good. Even though this bike is weighted down, um, a little bit of downhills, I didn't feel too squirrely or crazy out of control. So um, even though I'm weighted down, so there's a lot of steep little pitch ups, as you can see. Gonna do my best to uh, get up here and we should be close to the campsite here pretty soon. We get a little bit of downhill. Woohoo! Finally.